Hello everyone, my name is Vishal and in this video I am going to show you how can you access the free content which is provided with CorelDRAW Graphics Suite license. It comes with other various softwares, plugins and free content such as 7000 clip arts, digital images, white color app, high resolution photos, 1000 plus open type and two type fonts and much more. So without wasting time, let's check what you receive with Corridor license. So we'll visit to Corridor.com. So what you can do is just type Corridor.com and you will find the same page which you are seeing over here. Okay, then after visiting Corridor.com, go to Products, Corridor. Inside the Corridor, go to Products again and select the tool name which is called CorelDRAW Graphic Suit. When you click over here, so inside the overview, scroll down and you will see what all softwares and tools are available with CorelDRAW Graphic Suit. So we are not going to uh, discuss this in detail. We will cover about the content part. So for the content, you need to click over here which says with, uh, see complete list of what, you, what is included. Just click now this is the content which you received with Corridor Graphics Suit. I was telling you about the 7000 clip art, digital images, white color wrap templates, 1000 plus high resolution digital photos, fonts, professional design templates and etc. So how can you access and download and use them? So for this we need to jump into Corel Draw. So let's switch to Corridor Graphics Suit. So now we are in Corridor Graphics Suite. You might see a different interface. I have customized that is the reason you are seeing a dark theme over here. Okay, so when you open Corridor Graphics Suite, you will see a welcome screen. Just in case if you have closed the welcome screen, you can again enable it from Help menu. Let me just close it. Go to Help menu. Inside Help menu, you will find Welcome screen. Now, inside the welcome screen, when you click on the get started, it will show you the recent file you, which you must be using. And to access the content, you need to go to store. So inside store, you will find the paid and the free content which is available with Corridor Graphics Suite. So as you can see, you can see a couple of paid things also over here. It is the price. So the, for the free content, you can simply click on the free filter over here. When you click on the free, it will only show you the free content which is available with Corridor Graphics Suite. So as I was telling you about the font, template, color fills, vector fills, fit maps, all these things are available. Now, to download it and install it, you have to select, let's say I want to use this fountain fill bundle, you just click on it. Now, from here you can download. Once you click on the download, it will ask to be installed. Click on install and a small process will, will run over here. On single click all the uh, Fountain fill bundle get installed. Now to access them, we need to go to Asset Docker. So you can access the Docker's. I will just click on the small plus sign over here, and you will find the Assets Docker over here. As you can see, it is already checked. That is the reason you can see it over here. When you click, you will find the content over here. Now. Whatever I have installed, it will add to my library. So I just click on my library over here. Now, as you can see, what all things I have downloaded, it is there in my library. Now to access them, I'll quickly create a new document. And now go to assets. Now when I click on the asset, I can define which category I want to access. So let's say, I'll keep it all categories and now you have two subcategories over here the vector part and the raster images so let's say I want to see only the vector part right now I'll click on it now in this case it will only show me the vector sorry I have enabled the raster no problem so let's say I want to use this particular image so let me come down 
I want to use this. So simple, give a right click, import. Now, and then you can press enter space bar, or you can either use the left click to import. And using my enter key, and the same image is now imported in my Google document. Now, for the vector content, I just enable the vector button over here. Now, it will only show me the vector part. So, for example, I want any animal so I'll first select the category and now yeah and now you can see it will only show me the animals vector art in the same manner I can define let's say I want to see the birds so now it will only show me the bird now for example I want this bird I'll give a right click on it click on the import and I can press enter now as you can see when I zoom this it is completely vector I can very easily right click ungroup it and now if I want to make any changes to it I can select the object and I can make changes to it it is that easy so for any other thing you can let's say I want this eagle as well right click import click and now the same vector will be in your document and to customize it you can easily ungroup it and you can customize it it is as simple as that as i've mentioned earlier also you can very easily enable the filter you want to access only vector or raster i hope this video is helpful to you thank you for watching